Platoon once more with a tutorial on a new type of layer that's a particles layer it's um, a great tool to create an effect of small flying objects yes could be water could be smoke could be insects the particles uh, layer is great for creating these kind of effects and for this we'll be using a sample file that comes with the tutorial folder folder for those who don't already know the tutorial folder is under the default installation of studio pro the name of our file is 6.1 and here we go now we see a bunch of meaningless dots at the middle of the screen and more than that a meaningless uh, animation looks like that these bubbles are just expanding and vanishing. Let's stop the animation and let's make sure that the timeline it's on the very beginning. It's very important so we don't start creating animation at the middle of the animation. Um, for this we'll be creating a new layer and it's not a vector, it's not a bone, it is a particle layer and it's very important to give meaningful names to our layers so it's going to be the smoke layer because we are making this bubble to turn into smoke alright now as every previous type of layer um, the smoke allows the man's sub layers so we'll be drag and drop We'll drag and drop each one of these sub layers into the smoke uh, make sure that it becomes red before you release the mouse it's very important and then we make all of the layers that came with the animation sub layers of our particle layer let's double click on smoke and we get the layer settings dialog box by the way you can also find this dialog box if you click on those three dots here at the top the two ways to finding I rather have to double click in the layer itself because it saves me from mistakes and here we have a bunch of settings and we will be changing these settings around to emulate smoke first of all smoke it goes a little bit slower and higher so the lifetime in frames is going to be 48 and it's not that oriented so each cloud should be a little bit free um, velocity is smoke smoke is not very fast so the velocity is going to become 0 0.3 for the sake of this example again this is only an example it doesn't have to be this way you're more than welcome to um, investigate play around these settings to see what they do how they work what we're doing here is only an example um, the acceleration when the smoke goes up goes a little bit high uh, faster as go, it goes up so we're going to change the rate from 4 this knob has to be all the way to the right and the rate should be around 0 0.5 should do it and we ready to go let's click OK and let's see what happens with our animation and all of a sudden that meaningless bubble became smoke nice cute automatically generated smoke uh, this is very useful again if you want to create a automatic animation saves you from trouble gives you more reality to your animation more movement and it's a great tool for those who want to create this kind of effect uh, thank you very much for watching for those who want to be in touch with me my email shows at the end of this video uh, you're welcome with suggestions if you have any questions if you have any requests please don't hesitate and write me right away thanks for watching